Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robbie Craig of the Flip Flop Flipper. Have you guys ever wanted to invest in real estate and want to make a whole bunch of money, piles and piles of it? We've done it for over 25 years and I've mainly done it by going to the foreclosure sales. So today's video, I'm going to tell you why we're now going to go to the foreclosure sales on the island of Puerto Rico. If you follow us or if you've never seen us before, let me tell you, we're real estate investors and we talk about what we do in real time and we even tell you how and why we do it. So today, let's talk about foreclosures. So if you know me at all, you know that I'm a value-add real estate investor and I like buying the dirty stuff, the nasty stuff, the things that need a whole bunch of fix up so that we can force appreciation. And there's no better place to buy those types of properties than by going to the courthouse steps and buying at the actual foreclosure sales. Let me tell you why. First, you're going to get the lowest possible price by buying at the foreclosure sale, or at least you should be going there with the mindset that you are. So when I go to a foreclosure sale, I know what is the property worth fixed up. I know before I get to the sale, how much is the property worth after it's renovated? I know how much it's going to take to renovate it. And so then I can back into the number that I'm going to pay. When I go to a foreclosure sale, I always want to be paying less than I would pay if it was on market. So if I'm doing a normal value add real estate play and it's an on market deal, maybe I would get to an all in number of 70% of the after repaired value. So I would buy it and fix it and then be all in at 70% of the after repaired value. But if I'm going to take the risk, I want to have a bigger reward than that. So I want to be buying these houses at a lower price so that after renovations, I can be all in at 50, 55, or maybe 60% of the after repaired value. But wouldn't you agree that if you're gonna buy something in the moment, 100% of the cash, no inspections, never getting in it, you have to do your own title search, all of those things are a risk. And because you take that risk, you need to get a better deal. So that was the first reason that I like to go to the foreclosure sale is just because we think that's the best place to get the best price. Number two, the second reason that we go to the foreclosure sale is because we believe there's going to be a wide margin of profit. We talked about it in number one. And you know, on most of our videos, when we do these lists of things on why we do stuff, they stack up, right? They're, they're all equally important across the line, but they stack up on each other. So number two, the potential for profit should be much greater when we're buying at the foreclosure sale than when we're buying an on-market deal. So guys, before I get to the next one, let me talk about our group on the school platform. We have a group called Apex, Apex Real Estate Investment. And over there, we network together, we learn together, and guys, we're doing deals together. We've only been at this for a couple of months and we've already done four deals and we are rapidly ramping that up. Part of this going to the foreclosure sale is the idea that we can partner with people who are in that group over on Apex. So if you like what you're hearing today, fill out the form in the description below. Come and join us on Apex. Maybe we can do a foreclosure deal together. So number three, there's way less competition. If somebody takes a house and puts it on the MLS and they put it out there to all of the realtors in the world, or even if we're talking about on the island of Puerto Rico, they give it to a realtor. Now everybody knows about that property. It's advertised everywhere that it's for sale. You get lots of time to go and look at it and pick it apart and decide what's good about it, what's bad about it, if you like it, if you love it, how much work does it need, all of that stuff can happen because it's on market, but the competition, because of the ease with those transactions, the competition goes way up. Where, if you're like me and you go to the courthouse steps and you have to pay for the property 100% of the purchase price right then in real time, as soon as the auction is over, then you don't get as much competition because not as many people can one, afford to have the cash on hand and carry it around in their pocket so that if they happen to win the auction, they'll be able to pay for it. And two, there aren't as many people that are willing to take that kind of risk. So because we've been doing this for over 25 years and we've bought properties like this thousands of times, we're able to go ahead of time and do all of that due diligence before the sale. And so when we show up at the sale, we're gonna get a larger profit. Number four, even though there is less competition, the competition that is there, they're all going to be other real estate investors. So I like that because I know that we're going to be at a similar price, right? Like we may have slightly different opinions on what something is going to be valued at after repairs. We may have slightly different opinions on what something's going to cost to get it there, but we're at the foreclosure sale because we like to get chunks of money. We like to make big profits quickly. As a part of this, you can use this foreclosure sale to expand your portfolio. So in other words, do the value add real estate investing to turn it into a rental property. Also, when you're at the foreclosure sale, your competition is generally speaking going to be other real estate investors. That means you don't have the competition of people who wanna buy the properties to live in them. They're just not prepared to come to this sale 
and act as quickly as other real estate investors are. So this is a great place for you to expand your portfolio because you can get a huge advantage by doing all of the work ahead of time and showing up to the foreclosure sale and being ready to act quickly it's a great place to buy real estate. Number five, it's a great place to buy a property that's going to one, have equity, and two, have the ability to force equity. So oftentimes when people are losing houses to foreclosures, the house gets distressed just like the seller gets distressed. So people don't just lose places to the foreclosure sale if everything is all really good and life is good and the marriage is good and your business is going well and you're making money. No, 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 no. These sellers, these people that are losing their properties back to the bank, they're in trouble. They're distressed. And so, therefore, they stop doing things like maintenance and repairs on these houses. So there's often going to be lots of equity that can be built by coming in and doing the value add. We love being value add real estate investors, and that means we like to force the equity up. So, one, you can buy at a great price. You can have the built-in equity the day that you buy it, but then you also get more equity as you renovate the property. And then, ultimately, you get to realize a bigger profit when you sell it, or you get a higher return on investment when you rent it. Number six, we target vacant homes, so we get immediate availability. So we can buy it on a Monday, change the locks on Monday afternoon, and start renovating it on a Tuesday. We love to buy these homes that are immediately available. So we don't want to have to wait for a seller to pack up the house and move their shit out and get out of our way so that we can get started or buying something that has renters in them at a low price and we want to wait for their lease to expire and then have them move out and then go in and renovate the properties. The nice thing about foreclosures is that generally speaking, you are going to buy them and they're going to be vacant. We actually target the vacant homes and we will only buy the occupied homes at a foreclosure sale if the margins are really, really absurdly crazy. Number seven, we love buying these foreclosures because of the tax benefits that we can get from them. So we're, again, we're value-add real estate investors. For a long time now, we've been buy and hold value-add real estate investors, which means that we're buying these properties not necessarily with the intention of fixing them up and selling them, but with the intention of fixing them up and then renting them. And if we're going to do that and add them into our rental portfolio, then we get to take advantage of a beautiful thing called depreciation, which will offset rental income, which means we pay less in taxes. If you follow our channel, you know that we want to pay our fair share of our taxes. We just want it to be as low as possible. We want to take advantage of all of the tax benefits of owning real estate that are out there and available to us. And part of being a real estate investor is that there are lots and lots of tax advantages. So owning homes for a long period of time, that's one of the major ones that you get to write off what's called depreciation. You get to depreciate the value of the property. So what's that look like? You bought it for $100,000. You fixed it up for $100,000. You've now got $200,000 in it. You put a renter in there who pays you a nice return on your money. And at the end of the year, the accountant depreciates your $200,000 asset down and gives you a portion of that depreciation back to offset in. Let's talk about the due diligence that it takes to be able to go and safely bid on a foreclosure property on the island of Puerto Rico or in the United States of America, any one of the 50 states. It doesn't matter where you're doing this. Going to the foreclosure sale is the most difficult and dangerous place that you can buy real estate. But because of that, it can be very rewarding. But I want to be clear. A whole lot of work must go into leading up to the foreclosure sale. So when I talk about the seven things that are reasons why we want to go there, it would be remiss if I don't remind you guys of how much work actually goes into finding and buying these foreclosures. And guys, over a long period of time, we probably average about a 10% success rate. So if we go and bid on 10 properties at a foreclosure sale, we would expect to only win one. And we set it up so that it's truly just a numbers game. We're backing into the math and we're figuring out what are the profit margins that we want so that we can buy something and know that we've probably overestimated on what the renovations are going to be. We've probably underestimated on what we think it's after repaired value is going to be. And why do we do that? We do that because it's such a tough place to buy properties. When we get one, we want to make sure that we're making money and we want to make sure that we're able to make the money fairly quickly. So what goes into leading up to the foreclosure sale is all of the title work has to happen before you get to the sale. You need to know what the renovations are going to be before you get to the sale. And it's difficult, guys. A lot of times you're not able to get into homes. You're not able to walk through them. So you have to be relatively well-educated enough that you can sort of look at something from the outside and take your best guess and have your best guess be pretty damn accurate. Because if you're wrong, 
you stand to lose money. So you don't want to be wrong. Another super important thing, not only are you doing the title work and figuring out what things are going to cost to fix it, but you want to drive all of these properties that you're going to bid on just to make sure they're there. So, right, they could burn down. They could have been bulldozed. They, they could have code enforcements. They could be condemned. There is a whole bunch of things that happen when people stop paying their mortgage payments. That means that they also stop taking care of their house. That means that oftentimes they move out of the house and maybe some vagrants have moved in. You need to know as much as you possibly can about this real estate that you're about to go put your money where your mouth is and buy it in real time. And guys, I'm talking about in an instant, you're the successful high bidder and it says, Going once, going twice, going three times, sold. Okay, mister, give me the money. In Puerto Rico, that's how fast it happens. It's absolutely all of the money right then, and there are no takebacks. If you accidentally buy a house that burned down, you lose your money. If you accidentally buy a house that you thought needed $10,000 in repairs and it needs $100,000 in repairs, you lose your money. If you accidentally buy a house at a foreclosure sale that you thought you were buying a first mortgage and it turns out to be a second mortgage and there's a quarter million dollars owed to the other bank, you lose your money. Don't lose your money. Partner with us. Consider joining us on Apex. We are doing deals on Apex. I said this earlier in the video and I'll just say it again here. We're building this community so that we can learn together, so that we can network together. Ultimately, guys, we like to do deals with people who we know, like, and trust. And that's what we believe we can do over on Apex. So we're building the community so that we can do deals together. Every single week, we're going to have a different topic. We're going to teach a masterclass about something that we have done inside of real estate investing. And we're just going to give as much value as we possibly possibly can for you guys to be a real estate investor. It's truly our heart on this channel and over on Apex and the Flip Flop Flipper channel that we will give, give, give so that you can be a real estate investor. We want to help you become a real estate investor. Real estate investing doesn't need to be hard. It's a great thing to do as a team. So we're always trying to expand our team. We say real estate investing is a team sport. We'd love for you to come and join us on Apex. Well, there you have it. That's why we're going to the foreclosure sale on the island of Puerto Rico. That's why we think that buying houses is there is such a great thing. We just gave you seven reasons that you should consider going as well. I hope to see you over on Apex. Give the video a like. Thanks for everything you guys do for us. I hope you enjoy our content. God bless.